Well, let's talk about, uh, I saw recently, which by the way, my intern Ty sent me a list of questions to ask you at some point. Um, and so I was reading some of the questions and I wanted to go back to your Instagram to kind of like look at uh, one of your posts. Um, I think it was the Nike commercial thing. And your Instagram, your IG wasn't coming up. Yeah. And so, so I was like, I was like, at first, I was like, hold up. Did DCAP block me? <laughs> I seriously dude, thought you I've blocked gotten text me. Message about, I've gotten text messages about that over the last couple of days. I think either my Instagram got hacked or disabled or something. I have no idea, but I'm working that out with IG. It looks like there's some kind of problem. Damn. So, so that's going to... And that, you know, gets me to a segue. And I, I just got to be honest about something. Yeah. As a, it, this, it really pissed me off when my Instagram got disabled or hacked or whatever. And, yeah. and what it made me realize is ownership. Like we have to really own our platforms. Mm. We don't have control over these social media platforms. If you're used to posting on Facebook, Instagram and everything, that's great. But the end goal has to be to, to convert your fans, your customers back onto your platform, 100%. whether that be email addresses or something to do with your platform. Cause any, like, look at my space, it's gone. Yeah. Instagram, my Instagram is gone right now. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get it back, but it's, it's gone for the, for the moment. Right. So, it, but it's crazy. It just makes you think like it's all about owning your platform. And, yeah. and this is a hard lesson for me, for sure. Yeah, I, I always say that owning the communication between you and your audience so important because something like this happens, you know, um, I'm happy to know that, you know, I, after that happened, I was like, I asked my girlfriend, I was like, baby, go to Decap Music, see if it comes up on your Instagram. <laughs> and for her, she was like, I've been getting text messages about this, man. Like someone like this artist that I work with was like, yo, what I do to you, man? I was just like, <laughs> nothing, man. My Instagram's hacked, bro. Like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, there is no way in hell no, bro. Yeah, blocked me because we about to do a podcast. He didn't say shit <laughs> Can to you me. Like, and I don't show up to the podcast. I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just ghosting you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And so I was, yeah. I was happy to know that you, like your Instagram was deactivated or yeah, I'm bro. not, not happy, but like that you didn't block me. You know what I mean? Right, um, right, right. I hope no, you get that back, man. I, I, I hope I get it back just to let people know that I'm not blocking them. You know, <laughs> like it's, it's not good. <laughs> yeah facts. It's, all, it's all good facts well i hope you get that back um but yeah owning the communication i'm sure you got a shit ton of like emails though from all the sales that you've made over the years right that's the thing like uh, you know even before this happened like i i i especially lately i've realized i've had an epiphany that i can't rely on you know these social media platforms to house my entire brand and my right. life so it's been, I, I collect emails, um, you know, I collect phone numbers, I, I, tech, I have a text community. Yeah. So, you know, these are all things outside of social media that you can do to leverage your brand. Because if something goes down, you gotta be prepared. Huge. And it will go down. Like whether it's now or later, everyone's shit is gonna go down at some point. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. So has that been a big part of your new kind of, um, release strategy is that when you have a new pack coming up you'll like text everyone and and let them know like hey this is out go copy right now yeah i have an amazing community of people who who have who are part of it and um as soon as i have like a new song i'll like send an early release to my text community mm -hmm. um when i have a new pack or like um, a new video i'll send like an early uh an early viewing to the text community yeah um, and I'll, I'll give you the number two, so maybe you could show it or, or something like that, or I could read it off. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, hold on one sec. Yeah, so it, it's been amazing because, you know, it, it's also more intimate. So it's like instead of the DMs, I don't always see DMs. Someone can text me and chances are I'll see it, you know? Right, right. Um, I always forget the number, though. Is it? Is it with... Oh, I got it here. Oh, what's that? Is the... Is the uh, service community? Yeah. 
Okay. Yep. No. So it's you can text me at 323-310-4079. And uh, it comes right to my phone. There it is. So we just text whatever, like we can say what up decap and it'll say what up decap, just anything, anything. Let me know your favorite kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 